Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Hey, friends, have you noticed that the technology circle has become lively again recently? The protagonist this time is not Apple or Huawei, but our domestic risk v chip. I heard that ARM, the big boss, couldn't sit still and actually reduce the price by more than 50%. What's going on? Today, let's talk about this topic that has made the technology circle boil. First of all, we have to understand what RISC-V chip is. Simply put, it is a new chip design architecture, which is different from the chips in our mobile phones and computers. The biggest feature of RISC-V is that it is open source and free, which means that anyone can use it to design chips without paying high licensing fees. This is a great thing for our domestic chips, because in this way, we can get rid of our dependence on foreign technology and design and produce chips ourselves. So, why can RISC-V chips become popular? There are many reasons. First of all, its performance is not bad. Although RISC-V chips are emerging technologies, their performance is comparable to some mainstream chips. Moreover, with the continuous development of technology, the performance of RISC-V chips will become stronger and stronger. Secondly, RISC-V chips are cheaper. Because there is no need to pay licensing fees, the production cost of RISC-V chips is naturally low. In this way, we can use cheaper and more affordable electronic products. Finally, RISC-V chips are more secure. Because it is open source, its code is public and can be reviewed and modified by anyone. In this way, RISC-V chips are difficult to be hacked. After talking about the benefits of RISC-V chips, let's talk about why ARM can't sit still. ARM is a big boss in the field of chip design, and its technology is widely used in electronic products, such as mobile phones and computers. However, ARM's technology is not free, and using its technology requires high licensing fees. This is a big burden for our domestic chips. However, with the rise of RISC-V chips, ARM's position has begun to be threatened. Because RISC-V chips not only have good performance, low cost, high security, but also do not require licensing fees. As a result, more and more companies are beginning to choose RISC-V chips to replace ARM chips. ARM was anxious when he saw this situation. So, it thought of a way to deal with the challenge of RISC-V chips. What is the way? It is to reduce prices in disguise. ARM reduced the price of its development tool chain from the original 20,000 to 30,000 US dollars per year to 10,000 to 20,000 US dollars, a reduction of more than 50%. This shocked the technology circle. Everyone speculated why ARM did this. Is Risk V chip really a threat to its position? In fact, ARM has its own difficulties in doing so. On the one hand, with the rise of RISC-V chips, ARM's customers began to lose. More and more companies began to choose RISC-V chips to replace ARM chips. As a result, ARM's revenue began to decline. On the other hand, ARM is also facing pressure from other competitors. For example, Qualcomm and Intel are actively developing their own chip technology, 
to try to break arms monopoly. So ARM has to take measures to deal with these challenges. So can arms disguised price reduction really save the situation? It's hard to say. Although price cuts can attract some customers back, the advantages of RISC-V chips cannot be offset by price cuts. The advantages of RISC-V chips are good performance, low cost, and high security. And with the continuous development of technology, the performance of RISC-V chips will become stronger and stronger. It will be difficult for ARM to save the situation at that time. Of course, we ordinary people may not care much about these high-tech things, but we can also feel the changes brought to our lives by technological progress. For example, the mobile phones we use are getting cheaper, and the performance is getting stronger. This is due to the contribution of domestic RISC-V chips. Because the cost of RISC-V chips is low, mobile phone manufacturers can purchase better chips at a lower price and produce cheaper and more affordable mobile phones for us to use. So although we don't understand the competition between RISC-V chips and ARM chips, we can also feel the benefits of technological progress in our lives. I hope that more domestic chips will rise in the future so that we can use cheaper, more affordable and safer electronic products. Speaking of this, we also have to remind everyone that although RISC-V chips have many advantages, they are still in the development stage and there are still many places that need to be improved. So when we use domestic RISC-V chips, we must also be rational and not expect too much from them. After all, the development of any new technology requires a process. Finally, let's talk about the topic of technological progress. Technological progress is a good thing and it can make our lives better. However, there must be a limit to technological progress and don't let it become a burden on our lives. Nowadays, many people can't live without electronic products such as mobile phones and computers. Sometimes they even ignore the people and things around them because of playing with mobile phones and computers. So when we use these electronic products, we must also pay attention to moderation and don't let them affect our normal life.